In the introduction video, we talked about a technique of factoring trinomials. It's based on uh, the multiplication of binomials. It's like reversing、um, multiplication. So in here, we look at four more examples and、uh, using this method. So what we do is, because、uh, we when we do when we factor trinomial, we need to、uh, write our answer as something times something. So pretty much is reversing multiplication. When we learn the multiplication, we multiply some、uh, something times something to get three x squared plus fourteen x plus eight after combining like terms. But here we want to find out what times what is equal to this expression. So the way we did it is to first we draw a two by two box, and the first column we're going to figure out what times what will give us the first term three x squared. So, in the other、uh, words, we need to break down three x squared. So first, let's break down three, and the only way to break down three is one times three. And the only way to break down x squared is x times x. And in order to get、uh, a x term in the middle, and now we're going to break down eight. And which is a positive eight, and we're gonna put the numbers in the second column. But to break down eight, there are many different ways. You can、uh, factor it as one times eight or two times four.、Uh, of course, you can do eight times one, four times two, or you could also have negatives: negative one times negative eight, negative two times negative four. But we're gonna start with、um, positive ones, and and check the all the possible. Possibilities, so we can get the one in the middle. So let's see if、uh, suppose I put、uh, positive one and a positive eight here. How do we know if this is the correct pair? What we do is we cross multiply them. And one x times positive eight that gives us a positive eight x, and three x times positive one that gives us positive three x. And after we combine them. Uh, when we combine them, we get positive eleven x, which does not match the middle term. So that means this is not the correct answer. And we can change. Then, if we switch eight and one and put an eight in the top box and one in the bottom box, it's not going to work either because three x times eight is going to give us twenty four. And twenty-four x and one times y is one. Twenty-four plus one apparently is going to be much bigger than fourteen x. So I tried both options for the first pair. I tried one eight and eight one, and neither of them works, which means I have to、uh, try the other pair. So let's try two and four. Well, if I put there again, we could、uh, put a two. And in in the top box and four in the bottom, but you could also put a four there and two here. Suppose again, suppose we didn't know, and we're gonna do cross multiply. And after we cross multiply, we're going to get one x times four. That's four x. Three x times two. That's two x. After we combine them, we're going to get a six x.、Uh, I'm sorry, a three times two is six. Six plus four that give us a ten x. Well, apparently it doesn't match the fourteen x. So we that leaves us the only option that will be having four switching four and a two, four and a two. And now when we do cross multiplies, we're going to get exactly what we need because three times four is twelve. There's x and one x times two. That's two x and twelve x plus four x. Combining these two like terms, that gives exactly fourteen x that we need. So that tells us this is the correct answer. But when we write the answer, note remember the reverse multiplication. It's like、um, we we multiply、uh, the first term one x plus four. So let's write down the answer here. That one in front of x can be omitted, so we have x plus four times three x plus two, and you can multiply them, do multiplication to multiply them out and combine like terms to 
check whether you can go back to 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. If you can, that means this is the correct mark, uh, factor. If not, then there, there must be something wrong. Uh, you can verify it quickly. Uh, x times 3x, 3x squared. Uh, x times 2, 2x. And 4 times 3x, it's 12x. 12x plus 2x is 14x. As you can see, when you do out times out, in times in, it matches exactly the cross products here. And after you combine them, and you get a 14x in the middle. And then when you multiply uh, the last and the last, 4 and the 2, you get 8. So that tells us, okay, this is the correct uh, factoring. But you don't have to show the process uh, of uh, checking your answer. And the final answer will just be uh, x plus 4 times 3x plus 2. And this, as, as we uh, saw in the application problem solving an equation with a high degree, we want multiplication because if the product of two numbers is zero, then one of them must be zero. But notice that here, this is not an equation. They, the instruction is just asking us to factor. So you can stop right here. This is the factor, these two factors we got. Uh, we don't have equal zero, equal to zero on the right side. You don't have to set each one equal to zero because we don't know uh, if they're equal to e zero or not. Although we're doing this to uh, solve equations, but in this, que this question, these four questions here, they're not equations, so you don't have to do that next step. Okay, now let's, similarly we can use this idea to factor the other three problems. So we're going to draw two by two box. And these two will come from 6x squared. So notice that to factor 6, there are two ways. It's either 1, 6, or 2, 3. But x squared, there's only one way, which is x times x. So I try, I'm going to try 1, 6 first, see if it works. And then and to get these two terms, we're going to break down 5. And for 5, you either have 1, 5 here, uh, 1 up, 5 down, or 5 up, uh, 1 down. And you, when you do cross multiply, as you can see, it doesn't work. It's 1x times 5 is 5x, and 6x times 1 is uh, 6, 6x. When you combine them, you're going to get an 11x. You're not going to get uh, negative 17. In fact, we should check both negative numbers because if you want to get a negative, um, then you have to have negatives. And because two negatives also make a positive. Instead of having positive 1 and positive 5, we should have negative 1, negative 5. But again, negative 5 plus negative 6 will give us negative 11x. It's not going to get us a negative 17. Even if we switch 5 and 1, uh, notice that 6 times 5 is going to give us negative 30. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. And negative 30 um, plus negative 1. Let me make this clear here. So if I switch, put a 5 here and a negative 1 here, notice that 6x times negative 5, that give us a negative 30x, but 1x times negative 1, that give us negative 1x. After we combine negative 30x and negative 1x, that give us negative 31x. That doesn't match the 1 here. And notice that for 5, there's only one way. It's 1 times 5, or 5 times 1. You can switch them. Um, but... Uh, so there's no way you can do anything about 5. So that goes back to 6, because there's another way. Now, by the way, you don't have to switch 1 to 6, because uh, when you uh, switch 1 to 6, 6, 1, that's going to go back to a previous case where you have 1 here, up here. If you check, you're going to have 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6. And 1, and one times negative 5, that gives us negative 5. That goes back to the previous case that we did, negative 11. And so when you have, uh, usually we can, we always fix the first turn, first column, and you switch the second column. Um, okay, so let's try uh, 2 and a 3 then, see if it, if it works. If I put 2 here and a 3 there, now when we do cross multiply, we're going to have 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. 3x times negative 5, negative 15, and negative 15 plus negative two that give us exactly negative 17. So I was lucky uh, that I put two in the top box and three in the bottom. And if I had a three in the up and two in the down, and I'm not going to get a negative 17, I would have to switch them. 
All right. So now let's uh, look at uh, the next example.、Oh, we need to put the answer here. So the factors will be so what times what is equal to six、um, x squared minus seventeen plus five. It's going to be two x minus five. When you write down your answer, make sure you write down them horizontally. Three x minus one. Now in the next example, notice that.、Uh, So when you factor problems, we usually you're supposed to check whether they have a GCF first. It will make the problem easier. Although this is a trinomial,、um, you shouldn't hurry to factor the trinomial. You should check whether they have a GCF. And previous two examples, I didn't check that. But I but I quickly glanced at them. I noticed that they don't have any GCF because three, fourteen, eight, they don't have anything except one in common. Six, seventeen, and five, they don't have anything except one in common. But in this example, notice eight, eight, thirty. They're all even numbers. That means at least two goes into all of them. And when after we check, yes, two goes into all of them. So we should go ahead and affect out a two, and divide each of them by two. Divide this by two. Divide this by two. Divide this by two. And that will give us a four x squared minus four x minus fifteen. And that, first of all, this trinomial is going to be easier for that one to factor. And secondly, if you don't factor out a two, and you went ahead and factor out this trinomial, you have to make sure you factor out another、uh, common factor later. But again, I recommend that always check whether they have a GCF, and and then if they there is one, factor it out, and then try to、uh, factor the trinomial. So let's look at the. So this two can be brought down here, but we're gonna try to factor the other trinomial. Four x squared minus. So let's see.、Uh, after we try, we we find out that. So I'm not gonna try every single one. I'm just gonna go ahead and write down the answer. So factor four, you get two two, and then factor x squared x x, and factor negative three. Notice that it, it's gonna. In order to get a negative number, one of them must be negative, the other is positive. And after trying, I、uh, we found I found out that negative five times positive three is the correct pair because after we do cross multiplies. Two x times positive three, positive six. Two x times negative five, negative ten x. After I combine them, negative ten plus positive six that gives us a negative two x, which is the one in the middle right here.、Um, but well, if you didn't know these are the correct pairs, you may have to try one to four and five three three five and try、uh, and then figure out one four doesn't work and then try two two and maybe、um, maybe you、uh, even you have to try one times fifteen. So now we can write on the answer two x minus five, first factor two x plus three the second as the second factor. Again, if you want to check, just multiply them out to see if you can get that expression. Now for the last example, we first we look at a six five six. They don't have anything in common except one, so there's no GCF. I can go ahead and do the box method、uh, to break down six. Uh, we can、uh, again. You can. You have two options: either one six or two three. So to save time,、um, I'm not going to try every possibility. I'll just tell you it should be two three one six is not going to work. And but if you didn't know, you have to try, try all the possibilities. If you're lucky, your first try will be right. If you're not lucky, you may have to try all the other options, and finally you get the correct answer. So. Negative six we break down as negative three times positive two. Now let's do cross multiplies. We're gonna have two x times positive two, negative four x. Three x times negative three, negative nine x. After we combine them,、uh, we get negative five x. Actually, we need a positive five x. If when you, whenever you get an opposite of that number in the middle, you're very close. All you have to do is to switch the sign. Of the negative and positive, so make this one positive, make this one negative. Now check again. Two x times negative two gives us negative four x. Three x times positive three gives us positive nine x, and nine x minus four x that gives us positive four x. So if you ever after you combine the cross multiplies and you got the opposite of the y in the middle, just switch the signs, you will get the correct answer. So now we can write down the answer. That would be two x plus three times Three x minus two, and if you want to make sure you did it right, just use FOIL or just distribute. And to combine like terms, you should be able to go back to the one given.